talking content. <laughs> What's going on? We are back with another episode, and we got something unique. We've been we've been selling this for quite some time, but before we get into what we're doing, who are we drinking with? We got Ryan. Well, well, well. Hey. <laughs> oh, I'm here, oh. and you're here. <laughs> hey, yeah, boy. We got Rick. Yes, you do. He is not here, <laughs> and I'm here. Yes. I'm Austin. What's going on? Ryan. This yeah. is this is your episode. I know. I'm putting, we're putting a spotlight on I'm you. I'm so excited. I'm so what excited. What the hell are we doing here? We're doing a brandy episode. Oh, we've been talking about it for how many months? Yeah, for <laughs> we've sure. Mentioned it in so many episodes <laughs> that we were going to do a brandy yeah. episode, and now we are doing a brandy episode. Uh, the disclaimer I will say is brandy is such a wide category. That it's like we were to do, uh, have an episode and say, all right, this is our whiskey episode, <laughs> <laughs> which we've done all whiskey episodes pretty much up until this point, other than like Mezcal and yeah, champagne yeah. and stuff. But so brandy is a huge category. Main difference is anything that is distilled from grains is whiskey. Anything distilled from fruits is brandy. And there you have it, folks. That's done. the episode. We're done. That's it. That, <laughs> thanks, mean, for, <laughs> thanks for tuning <laughs> in. <laughs> That is, that is it. So it's a huge umbrella term. We're going to try a couple random different things today and talk about just sort of the differences in brandy. This is, again, very, like, cursory. Yeah. So Are we traveling around the globe? How we, what's, what's going on A here? little bit, but nothing. I mean, mo- these are all European. Oh, okay. Different parts of Europe, but European. The main thing is we're going to try a few different things made from different fruit. Cool. So like whiskey, you can have a wheat whiskey, yeah. a rye whiskey, or some blend. They do a lot less blending for these. Most of it is just pure like this. This is from plums. plums. So our first one is Slivovitz, which is, this is from Croatia. Most Slivovitz or plum is from uh, the Balkan states. So like Romania, Croatia, Czech Republic, Slovakia. Can you have, can like you have a brandy from grape? Yes. And in fact, the most famous brandies are from grapes, which we can try some. Okay. Uh, like cognac. People know the name. Oh, cognac, yeah, yeah. Armagnac. Cognac. Uh, yeah. So pretty much any wine region will also make grape brandy. Okay. Well, well I'm excited. I, I know nothing about brandy. Uh, so this will be fun for me. Yeah. Maybe for you too. <laughs> hey. It's, it's fun stuff. And a lot. Of, so here's the really fun part. Whiskey is in this huge boom. The market's crazy. Every, shit's expensive. Oh, Everything's yeah. expensive. Pasta yeah. be expensive. Yeah, pasta be expensive. Money be expensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's cool about brandy is there are expensive brandies, especially cognacs. Those can get really pricey. But a lot of these are nowhere near whiskey prices. Yeah. Like $20 to $50 is a huge category for a lot of brands. So we're preparing everyone for the recession, for that real deep European recession. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the European recession. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, a new uh, 2008 yeah. kind of crisis there we go. type deal. Yeah. So this. So the other thing to mention, a lot of uh, brandies are clear. So you'll find a lot of schnapps yeah. or, or things like this that are clear. So they are unaged, not put in barrels. That's what gives it color. Unlike the... You do see brandy on shelves these days where it's like super bright green or oh, red or whatever. Totally natural. Those are like <laughs> those are like liqueur brandies. Okay. They call it brandy, but it's it's garbage yeah. shit that's used as mixers for stuff. Those okay. are gross. These are pure these are actual like legit brandies that you'd find. Well, right off the bat, I'm sniffing this bad boy. And fruity. <laughs> uh, it's fruity. And honestly, it's like I'm it's almost candied, you know, like I'm going to about yep. to have something really sweet almost. Yeah. Plum, I'm not super familiar with plums, so I'm not going to try and pull out any. I'm not going to say that this is this smells like plums. It's just it does smell like plums. <laughs> it smells like plums. <laughs> <laughs> it's very sweet and it's like almost like you'd you'd have like an old candy that 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 tasted like this or mm. smelled like this. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. So so it's also worth just going over whiskey and brandy. Those are the two umbrellas for the most part. But anything that has sugar in it, that's how you can make spirits. 
So if it's fruits or, you know, these grains, grains. that have sugar that are mm-hmm. malted, you make a beer or a wine out of it, and then you can distill it. Yeah. So that's, they're all made from wine, basically. They make a wine out of whatever it's And then made it's from, distilled. And then you distill it. So this is 80 proof, right? This... This is a lot of brandies tend to be on the 80 proof side. You don't see a lot of like cast strength stuff like this. Okay. And a lot of brandies were originally like medicine, like yeah. in, yes. in yes. Germany and stuff. Oh, yeah, you had yeah, to be yeah. a doctor to give people hard alcohol. Yeah. Which is how I use it. And wine too. <laughs> it's my sleeping medicine. <laughs> no, no, no. My, my, works. my German grandparents, like if I would be with them, staying with them, on the farm or whatever, and I wasn't feeling well. It was always German schnapps, yeah, for a, an elixir, if you will. Yeah, even at, even at five years old, I remember, <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and so that's the other thing. It's which makes brandy kind of confusing. Almost every country has a name for what, like the. But it's still under the umbrella. Brandy. It's still under the umbrella. It's, of brandy. it's all the same kind of stuff. Yeah, but like, like schnapps is German and Austrian. That's what they call it. And then in France, it's eau de vie, which is water of life. Same thing. Uh, in some of the Balkan states, it's polenka, some version of that. Okay. But it's, I mean, it's all the same thing. Just a fruit that they distilled, made a wine, then distilled it, and bam, clear liquid. So what do we got on this one that we're drinking right now? So this is it's? Croatian. Okay. Made from plums. Uh, like I said, Balkan state. Slivovitz, in particular, I think Sliva is plum in that language. And so, yeah, it's just made from that, those local plums. Okay. Okay. Well, it, so it tastes a little bit like it's, it is from plums. And also, there's some ground up plum branches in there, too. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> earth. Uh, it, you know, it kind of makes me think of gin. Uh, yeah. in the uh, Her- herbal, the, yeah, the herbalness of it, uh, the pineness. It, there's a, definitely a there's pine something note, which, going on there, which yeah. obviously it's not pine; it's freaking plums. But it's maybe there's the the oil in the plum leaves or oil in the plums or whatever is yeah. is causing this. But comes through definitely has an herbaceous taste to it that makes it a little intense. And mm-hmm. I'm not going to say I, I super enjoy this. That's fair. It's, no, but it does also does. You know, you talked about how sweet it was on the yeah. nose. It's. I'm not saying there isn't a little sweetness there, but it doesn't. It's not like oh, it's sugar at all. Yeah, no. I I enjoy the noise. The, the noise. The the nose <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Um. And no, the nose transfers good. directly to the tongue. I just don't know if it tastes as good as it smells. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny. So you bring up the like like kind of sticks and herbal quality. There is in Italy. Uh, a spirit called grappa which i do not have a grappa here but what they do is they basically take the leftovers from winemaking so just like the dregs and stuff and then they distill that oh yeah and it literally including the the branches and stuff tastes like sticks yeah it's (laughs) it's he hates it so much i'm not a (laughs) he hates it so much i don't mind it because a lot of these are used as like a digestive so you have a really big meal and then you have a little bit of a like a schnapps or yeah. one of these and it's just like okay it settles the stomach a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little medicine make it yeah. go down baby let me chew on a twig <laughs> yeah he hates he hates <laughs> grappa so much i don't mind it but i'm funny. not a grappa fan yeah he however is well yeah he knows his way around some grappa. all right well i like the bottle and I don't dislike what's inside. It's yeah. just if someone gave this to me, I would certainly drink it. Yes. I would not say yes. no. It's different. Yeah, it's, it's very so, different. It's, and uh, obviously, we're used to drinking whiskeys. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I am. This different. is maybe the second time I've ever had brandy because you poured it for me once before, maybe twice. So the other question is: Would you rather have this or like straight vodka? I don't like vodka, so I would have this. That and that's kind of so. I would rather have this. I as would. Well. Yeah. This yeah. So is, would I. You can sip on this. Unless, yeah, so, unless you know some amazing vodka that you're like, you just need to drink this. It's so good. Oh, Which there are vodkas yeah. like that. I've never had one. So <laughs> It's also worth mentioning vodka is the weirdest category of alcohol because there are very few rules. Right. You can so, have, yeah. you, Potato, grain, right? I you mean, can have vodka made from wheat. You can have vodka made from grapes. You can have vodka made from freaking pineapple. 
so the, vodka is both whiskey and brandy, just unaged and weird. Okay. So it, it doesn't really make sense yeah. as a category. Same right. gin. Get it going. Yeah, it's it's funny looking at these bottles and it's just clear liquid. It's like, this is something sketchy. <laughs> yeah. But if you're getting brandy, for the most part, you want it to be clear unless you're getting an age statement yeah. where it's aged in a barrel. Okay. But if you're getting brandy and it's like a super sickly sweet, like bright color, oh. that's disgusting. Yeah. That's an American thing that we do. Sounds about right. Yeah. We do diabetes here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this, this is fun, Ooh, particularly this, for us. This is 90 proof. So this is 90 proof. This is the Wolf Burger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> From Alsace. Wolf Burger. So this well, is French. French. Oh. French. It's actually French. <laughs> but it's, uh, hold on. Wee <laughs> wee. Oui, oui. I nailed it. I don't know. I so can't do a French accent. This is from the Alsace region, mm -hmm. which is the border of Germany and France. Okay. And so I'm kind of getting there. Depending yeah. on what. It's a Wolf Burger. <laughs> yeah. Depending on what time of history. Yeah. Could be either. But, so the real Germany is what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> to be united at some point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I mean, the name's Wolf Burger. Yeah, for a God's similar sake. claim that Russia has actually. So maybe maybe uh, the well, Germans should really name. think about that. That's the company name. But they also so this is Kirsch. This is an eau de vie, which is brandy from uh, France, but it is from Kirsch, which is cherry in German. Okay. That's cherries. The, so this is made from cherries. It's a German word for cherries, so this is made from cherries. Uh, yes, it is, folks. You put my put my snaz in there. It Whoa. smells like cherries. That's you know what that smells like. Uh, I know this is a strawberry snack, a strawberry candy, but it's the the old the hard candy, hard yeah, candy yes. that has like the weird. It's like the inside you, that's a little it's bit gooey. Yeah, gooey. Yeah, that that's, is what this smells like. Yes. If you I, know what candy I'm talking about, you know exactly what Your grandma like. has it. Exactly. On the end table. That it hasn't and butterscotches. Been <laughs> Werther's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this doesn't smell like butterscotches. Yeah, Werther's. No, Verther's. no, this is, this is definitely cherry. Yeah. In, but, but with a little but kinda, herbal. What kind of candy? But with yeah. a little herbal something going on there, too. So that's kind of what I'm, and maybe you can kind of explain more, is, is the note through all of these is it does seem a little candied on the nose. Is that is it just the fruit that just comes yeah. through? And since it's distilled, you're kind of just getting an intense kind of version of yeah. the fruit in, or sorry, the sugar in the fruit. Yeah, it is. I mean, it is the distilled version yeah. of that, and so that's why it's that's why I like it because it's it's not sweet on the taste because oh, it is oh, pure alcohol. Oh, yeah, it's I mean, 40, 50 percent, whatever. This is ninety proof right here. This one, forty five percent. Yeah, but like when you smell it and even taste it, you get. The sweetness, like the essence of the sweetness of the fruit, oh. of whatever fruit it is, but it's not sugary. No, not at all. No, this is hmm. interesting. This is medicine. It's now I say that, and yes, it like you think of Nyquil, but the best version of Nyquil you could possibly have. I would much rather drink this. Exactly. Than yeah. This this is what Nyquil should taste like. Yeah. Um, I, I, I get, I'm serious, I honestly get, like, fresh black cherry. And it's not sweet. Yeah. It's not that sweet at all. No, no, on the taste, it's not. Man. The, the taste to me is, it, the, the, that, that candy smell, you know, which I totally agree with you, it, to me, it's not candied on the taste. No. It's, it's, it is a fresh black cherry on the taste. Maybe even with a little bit where you bite into the, the pit a little bit, too. A little chip on the tooth. Yeah. I, Lloyd Christmas. For me, what's really interesting, it's like, I don't know, sometimes I'll say, like, oh, that tastes like the smell of, <laughs> right, you know. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm not weird. <laughs> uh, this, both of these now, the smell is the taste, and the taste is a smell. For you? Yeah, yeah. it's just... What I'm smelling, it just transfers right so, over. So it's, it's still that. It's, it's still almost, that strawberry. Yeah, it's almost one to one of what I'm smelling. My brain is still bringing up the same image. That's well, interesting, and, and that makes that also makes sense for these two specifically because there is no aging involved. Okay, like they are yeah. clear distillates, so it's it is kind of the raw version of these. From now on, for the rest of what okay. I have, there has been barrel aging. Yeah, so you get. 
the essence of the fruit, but then there's also, okay, we're going to start introducing a little more caramels and stuff into it because of the barrels. You know, I think, so this is, I mean, obviously this is my favorite so far, but, and we've only had two, this is making me appreciate the Slivovitz more. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Just, it's just kind of like, it's putting some things into, pers- into perspective and yeah, you know, the Slivovitz is my first brandy I've had in, co- I mean, forever. And so it, it was a little bit harsher and more herbaceous. This is much more sweet, in my opinion. But I'm kind of getting the idea now, and my brain is aligning into being able to take in the, the notes of brandy. Yeah. Like, this is, this is pretty fun, folks. Like, it might, how much was this? This one might actually be one of the more expensive ones I have here. Um, I got it at a pretty good price, but it, this one's probably like 60 bucks. Okay. Now, yeah. it, do we know, like, what's the price range of brandy? Uh, anywhere from 20 to 20 to 60, 70 is like, you can have most of your brandy there. Okay. Above 70, now you're getting into like super aged yeah. cognacs and things like that. If you if you want to get frisky, this is the one to do. I, I, and there I mean, there are other brands. I know there's like a like a Williams something or other uh, that they do like an apple, a pear, and a, a kirsch, oh, cool. a cherry one. And do they ever blend those? Uh, they have an apple and pear blend. Okay. that they do, uh, which is which is also yeah. very good. And those are in the like thirty forty dollar range, I think. Um, so it's not crazy. Yeah. It's worth it's worth You know trying. what's interesting for me is like I I am truly enjoying this but I find myself this maybe it's called maybe it's called being an alcoholic. <laughs> I find myself taking smaller little sips of it than like whiskey. Yeah, well, you, you know my the, for it, sure. And I, mean, I don't yeah. know because I'm unfamiliar with it so it's like, you know, it's like, hmm, I I don't I don't know, but it's like I could sit around a table playing cards or whatever and, yeah, and, just and have a on glass and sit, sipping on this. This is, and it's, I definitely differ from you. The nose is different than the taste. Yeah. The, the taste is much less sweet and things like that. And to me, this is a natural, cher- natural black cherry and a little bit of the pit maybe. Well, and, and what you're saying to me, this is kind of the best of both worlds where the smell is kind of sweet. Like it's almost like a, Mm. Obviously, it's cherry, That's but good. like a strawberries and cream kind of smell. And then on the taste, you don't get that sweetness. I actually think that's refreshing where it's like, oh, the taste kind of transfers, but you don't have it doesn't seem as sweet on the taste that you would think from the smell. So I know you guys talked about it before a, a little earlier, but it's like there's all kinds of like American brandies you can get. But they're sugared brandies, like blackberry brandy or something like that. And, and it looks and, super dark purple. And right. And they, it's, that's all artificial and stuff yes, like that. Yes. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's still theoretically brandy because they call it brandy, right? But it's not, uh, I don't know. I, I would imagine. So this is all European. Is there any say, American brandy that's? Oh, I, I got to believe so. But yes. a lot of typical, yeah. okay. you go into a liquor store when it says brandy, a lot of it is that sugared yeah. fake. Yeah, no, to get to get real stuff, it's probably easier to get European stuff. Um, I know for a fact that there are local places, like if you're in a an area that grows a lot of apples or grapes, they there are small distilleries okay. that will do stuff like that. Interesting. I'll have to look around. We we have some stuff here yeah. that, that people make uh out of apples and grapes, which is cool. Yeah. And then again, like I said, there's some places that you do like a vodka or a gin that's made from apples. Okay. It's like, I gotcha. okay, well, that's brandy. Yeah. You're calling it gin. They might add some spices yeah, yeah, and whatever what to it, it but like, that is what it is. Well, this is a, so we're obviously going darker. This is now piss color. So <laughs> we've moved up. Into Depending the on how hydrated you are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is me after two brandies, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Calvados. Okay. Calvados. Very is, intimidating name. Yeah. So Calvados, this is going to be aged two to three years. Could be more, but this one is definitely not. This one's a younger one. Um, mm-hmm. This is mm-hmm. very particularly. Uh, this bottle is single distillation. Okay. 
So like Scotch double distillation, Irish whiskey triple, triple distillation. Uh, so this is just a single distillation. So they leave a lot of that in there with a little bit of aging to it. This is made from apples, and in France, French uh, Calvados comes from the Normandy region. Hmm. So sort of the northern, is it northern? Hmm. And so here's the weird part: Calvados, for the most part, is made from apples. You can make a Calvados that is a blend of apples and pears. Okay. Some of them have that, but for the most part, it's mainly apple. Well, right off the bat, this nose is absolutely fantastic. Well, yes, especially this is this is a wow nose to me. Oh, for sure. Once you once you hear the word apple, it's just like it's oh, fresh apple. All the versions of apple you can possibly oh, imagine. I like I, I'm thinking of like cider, just normal fresh apple. Thinking of like cinnamon mixed with apple. It's it, no uh, it's for me. Stuff. That that nose is fresh baked apple pie with a lattice topping yeah. that has a pad of butter on it. Yeah, melting. Oh, that's, that's the sick. nose. The other thing I will say is what they'll do, and this is kind of cool. They will do batches of different apples, a bunch of different kinds of apples, and then they'll do a blend. Oh, so they'll cool, do like cool. really yeah, tart yeah. apples yeah, yeah. in one That's thing dope. and then okay. sweet ones and then they do a blend to get things to yeah. make their profile, which is pretty sweet. How do you like them apples? Also, you're fired. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, I should also mention, so this is a single distillation and typically with Calvados, if it's a single distillation, is a column still. Okay. They can do a double distillation, which means it would be a pot. So this is probably column still. Column still. I want a pot still. Man, I just want to sit here and li- smell this nose. I almost said listen to this nose, which I'll do that too. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I'll listen to it. Oh, the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> An ocean of oh. apples. <laughs> uh, uh, isn't that? It smells awesome. Oh, this this is. And this was forty bucks. Yeah, I'm. That, that's North Atlantic. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> Yeah. All right. This is a. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wait. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Get a little slippery here. This is a different. This being aged, you said this is how long? Two to three years. Whoa. The most interesting thing that I tasted was at the very, very end of the palate. And it's like a pineapple lemony. Notes. There's a little bit some yep. sort of tropical fruit As, that takes over. This is an amazing bottle, folks. If you want to try brandy, how much is this bottle? Forty. This is Calvados. This is the one to go and just try. Yeah. The, the ones we tried before, those are in, they 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 have a little bit of medicinal quality, but they're good, and I enjoyed them. This is something that you'd be like, hey, friends. You want to try something crazy? Yeah. This, this is good. This is good. Wow. I, I've had a smell and a little taste, and this is blowing me away. And I will mention there are some uh, Calvados distilleries that will do the kind of cognac thing where they put, and I'll go into this further later, but they'll do like a VS, which is very special, or a VSOP or an XO. And all of those have legal definitions of how long you age it in barrels. And so I've seen a decent amount of Calvados that have that system going. Get a young one that's a VS or you can get an XO so it's much more aged. Okay. I'm telling you. And I believe it's two years, four years, six years is the legal for VS, VSOP, XO for those. For me, this is sort of, maybe it's just in my head. I think it might just be in my head now. But I'm telling you, every single time, and including with the Calvados here, I taste it. It's definitely tasty. And you get a little of that ba- barrel influence and because it's two or three years um, aged. It's apple. It's definitely apple. Apple taste, which is pleasant. But again, I keep, I keep saying this. There's... There's something there, like it's apple stem. Yeah. Like the back end is, and I, and I, uh, like apple stem, 
which is not in an unpleasant way, but then there is just like a, just a glimpse for me of that pineapple thing you're talking yeah. about. But it's, so for every single thing, I keep saying like the cherry, that Kirsch had the pit, cherry, and then a little pit, you know what I mean? And the plum was like, they had the stem in it. And then this, I'm going like the apple stem too. Well, it goes to, goes to show that maybe the, the wood or the skin or something, you know, I, maybe they put a couple of leaves in there. I, you know, who knows? I don't know. I'm just bullshitting here. But <laughs> yes, you are. Let's mix in the leaves. Well, no, I mean, like it, may, <laughs> the, it makes me think of gin, which true, is true, spices, true. right? Which yeah, has yeah. that yeah. twiggy yeah. 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 ness in it. There, there's got to be something that that has to do with the skin of the fruit. I think it's more that it's fewer distillations and less aging. So you're getting the impurities because the more times you distill, remove more and more impurities from the product. So having only a single distillation, though it is a column still, you are retaining those impurities, which it gives it that sort of characteristic. And I yeah. think that's what you guys are picking up on. And then having a, a low age to it leaves it in. It's not going to be overpowered yeah. by a bit. I think we're also used to bourbon and, oh, for, and stuff uh, that has uh, like uh, these intense wheat notes yeah. and, you know the, oh, just all the stuff that goes with exactly that, yeah. like this is much more like it's like a subtle. scalpel it's subtle it, yeah, yeah it's like you you're getting exactly what it tastes yeah, like well, my palate isn't tuned for this yeah my palate's tuned for whiskey yeah well but at the same time th this is partly why i really wanted to do this with you guys because you've you both started as really big bourbon people then you kind of shifted to rise and then you started shifting to scotches which a lot of the scotches become a little more subtle, like softer sweetness, softer palates. And now it's like, okay, now we're getting into really soft yeah. profiles. Yeah. Nothing's punching you in the face. This is just subtle, simple lines intertwining. <laughs> uh, what is this aged in? Uh, French oak. Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So almost everything here is going to be aged in French oak. Uh, new French oak, typically. Interesting. I would like to know where those bottle, where those barrels go afterwards. Probably sold off. For yeah, I'm just like, well, and, and what's uh, going to age in brandy? That being barrels? said, there's isn't. I don't believe there's a law that says this has to be new. Okay, like like bourbon. Yeah. So they probably reuse their own barrels. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. And but so, they'll have to age it longer or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um. And I know for, for some of the ones that we have later, like the next two, those are done in limousine oak. Ooh, those long oaks. So that's, that is Got a, a -donk. specific kind of French oak. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, it's called limousine. There's a reason why limousine now has the stereotype. Like it's high up. Yeah, tall. Nice. <laughs> Not tall. High class. <laughs> high class. Yeah. Longer. Yeah. <laughs> with yeah. strippers in a swimming pool in it <laughs> yeah <laughs> what kind of limousines have you been in a couple, a couple of VIPs. I have questions <laughs> yeah. well come on we are doing brandy didn't she work, didn't she work the stage the other night yeah. come on <laughs> how am I here <laughs> so I, I, I'm a fan yeah we've had Calvados yeah I'm a big fan of the name it just <laughs> I like the name it, it sounds fun it seems like it should be a name of some villain in some fantasy story uh, some pirate. Um, it's eighty proof, by the way. So we went. We were eighty proof, then ninety proof, now eighty proof. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at this thing that it has words German I don't understand. <laughs> sounds yeah. German. So this one's fun. Uh, so this is German. It's actually German, not the, not Wuff Burger, not faux German <laughs> like Alsace. Um, but so this is Osbach. I like the name Osbach, so I'm I'm a fan. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> so here's here's an interesting uh historical bit about this. So this, the guy who started this brand specifically, he was making this stuff and it was cognac. It was called cognac. So it's made from grapes and it's German. After World War One and the Treaty of Versailles, they determined 
that cognac had to be from the specific region oh, the of the Treaty France. of Versailles. Yeah. So now German stuff cannot be called cognac. Wow. So what, then, what is Blitzkrieg not mean anything anymore? I mean, come on. No, that was in, that was in, that was incoming. <laughs> Sorry. That, that's why they blitzkrieged, actually. Yeah, it was, was about it's that. about cognac. Yeah, it was about the definition. Because of the Treaty of Versailles, the Blitzkrieg <laughs> came about. I mean, actually, yes. yes. That is true, yes. <laughs> uh, but the, so then the Germans called uh, their cognac brand vine, oh. which comes also from there, there are other cultures that called brand vine and it meant burnt wine, which it looks burnt. Yeah. Uh, but it's distilled, it's aged in, in limousine oak. Limousine oak. Uh, yeah. So this particular brand, Asbach Uralt, Uralt is older in German. Uh, this is a three year. This is young. These guys make a lot of older okay. stuff. Like they have 21, oh, 25, okay. 27, like uh, old, old yeah. stuff. But this is their youngest one. So this is the baby one. This is not very expensive. I assume that we're going to have to start pain handling for a few years before we can get some of the. Uh, some of those older years. ones are, are, yeah. are, get pretty pricey, what, but what? less expensive than scotch that's oh that. really oh yeah because nobody knows about these. all right well so in again, america yeah, yeah, so yeah. again i want to be clear the, the fruit is grape and these part. are grapes okay yes this is made from so grapes. basically cognac but treaty of versailles said no no Can't because be the, because yeah. the french yeah. this is, this is the french also charged 33 yeah. billion dollars reparations to germany for yeah. world war one so and how did that turn out france yeah <laughs> <laughs> So I so didn't, this, I didn't this, realize this is some monarch juice right here. I did not realize that it, it affected yeah. the name that it's. I, and this guy was Hugo Osbach, I believe. That was his name. That was the guy that started this. All right. And, All right. So three, so three and he years. he coined and, the term Brandvine. Oh, wow. Like he was the original. Yeah. So this is like the OG, how like Buffalo Trace is like mm-hmm. we're the OG distillery in America kind of thing. This guy was it's a great color i mean the yeah. color is awesome interesting so now we time out to review we've had plum we've had cherry we've had apple and, and now grapes. we're on a grape the grape really changes it and also the three years changes it quite a bit now we're now we're in the territory of something that we're familiar with oh uh, yeah, yeah it's gotten this also is, this is double distilled okay like Cognac is pot stilled. This is pot stilled. Cognac's double distilled. Yeah. This is double distilled. I'm yeah. smelling the limousine yolk, oak. Yeah, th- this is bringing the 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 oak or the barrel much more forward. Yeah. Even on the nose. And oh, definitely you get the more caramel. Oh, you get more. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> That's what we call a conniption. Oh. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, he's having a stroke, folks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh it smells my. like burnt toast. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> and almonds. Tastes like copper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a lot of problems, Rick. I think we, <laughs> I think we do need to take it to the hospital. <laughs> holy moly. Oh, my. That's Owen Will. Oh, my God. Wow. 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 That. The grapes definitely change. Oh. Uh, it turns it oh. into a little bit more oh. uh, juicy, thicker, a little thicker with the age in the grapes, I think. I well, mean, and keep in mind, the limousine oak gives the uh, the mouthfeel. That feel. French oak. Oh, there's a mouthfeel there. Yeah, the, the creamier mouthfeel. But, mouth but feel. when you think mm. of, like, grape juice, it mm. also simula- it, it's simulating, like, a like a thick grape juice or something. Um. There's a fruit cake going on. There's raisin, a golden raisins going on. The mouth feels super creamy. Oh my fruit good cake! There's fruit cake. Going this is on like for a me. Gen Z podcast. Okay, what are you talking about? No one, no one eats. I know, fruit cake. and I know. Nobody yeah, eats you know all the Gen Z one, watchers out there. I don't eat. Fruit <laughs> cake. I don't eat, <laughs> even drink this. I don't even, I don't even eat. We're fruit trying cake. to. We're trying to get in the young folk, right? We're trying to get them young. <laughs> Have you not heard of retro <laughs> fruit cakes? In baby. <laughs> Our audience are very clearly boomers and <laughs> boomers to millennials. Hey, hey cheers to that. All right. Okay, so I won't go with fruitcake, but I am going to go with the mouthfeel is unbelievable, like yeah. silky and creamy. 
that limousine and mouthfeel. And let's go with golden raisins. How's that? Does that work? Not bad. Bad. Yeah. But mm. there's other stuff going on there, too. That's why I said fruitcake, which nobody eats. I get it. So almost a little molasses or something going on there. Man, that is an interesting one. It's a little bit more. Uh, Ooh, that's good. Subversive than the past three that we've had. Well, obviously the first two, but the last one, which is age at least two years, right? That one is, was brandy. This one is, it's like, ooh, what is this? It, good. Yeah. That's it, what it, it is. It is good. This that's, is something you'd give to someone and they'd be like, oh, brandy's pretty good. Whereas in the Slivovitz would be a little bit more. It's That's a wild ride. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, that's raw. Let's this raise is, some leaves and start eating them. This is this is like, oh, you like whiskey? Yeah, exactly. Now here's a fruit based whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> um, 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 um. yeah. The oh my grape God. really changes it. There there is star anise in this. Yeah. Also the raisin, for sure. Raisin. raisin yeah. Absolutely. Which uh great, yeah. right? Great. Right. It's, star it's, it's star the, anise. Mm. It's the 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 grape comes uh so like when you taste it, hit your front palate. The grape is the ramp up when it's right before it hits your back palate. It's like, whoa, I'm a grape. And then it starts to fade away. Mm. I am a super fan of this. And the mouthfeel helps it too. That limousine, I don't know what limousine oak is, but I'm a fan. It's tough. Why is that's the thing is American whiskey distillers, please start using French oak. Okay. Please. Can't okay. call it bourbon then. That's true. That's, That's what I'm saying. American whiskey distillers. That, yeah. Good point. I don't need I don't need bourbon. I don't need more bourbons in my life. I, look, we got too many bourbons, okay? Yeah. We need some we need some American whiskey. It'll it'll happen. It'll happen. I am number one, I straight up like this a lot. Number this is two, not expensive. And number two, I want to now uh seek out higher years statement. Uh oh. Harder to find in our area. Um, <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I, t- Which, I accept that challenge. <laughs> so, so here's the thing, too. Like, uh, for brandy in general, obviously, it's not as popular as whiskeys are. Uh, so you see a lot more of these on the East Coast, closer to yeah. Europe, Yeah, obviously. Um, and we are not on the East Coast. No. <laughs> So it's harder. Get it's harder. Chinese brandy and Russian brandy, <laughs> <laughs> and not Russian anymore. <laughs> Just Chinese brandy. <laughs> wow, it's actually baiju, baiju, um, which is the most consumed liquor on the planet. Oh, by really? the way. yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. So we're doing a baiju. But episode. they don't. It, we nobody else drinks it. They all do. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, that's why it's the most all consumed. Right. But yeah, the, it's harder to find. I've. I haven't seen too many different ones of these um, out and about. Osbach. Yeah. But it is fun. And this is, like I said, this is the baby one. And again, a ton I, know of you, different ones. You, I know you said it's inexpensive. Any idea? 20, 30 bucks. All right. Oh, proof, okay. 80, 80 proof. That's a crime. Yeah. Like it's not, it's not expensive. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like this, I understand it's made from cherries. It's, it's really good. Yeah. This being 60 and this being 30 bucks at most, probably. Fair. Wowza. The fair assessment. It's because it's grapes. It's cherries are expensive. Yeah. Grapes are much cheaper. Yes. That's very true. That's, that's the problem. Yeah. Or not the problem if you. It's, it's not our problem. That's for sure. Okay. So now we're going to switch. <laughs> banana. Co- oh, not banana. Sorry. <laughs> banana cognac. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dave Chappelle reference. 99 bananas. <laughs> so this is cognac. Did I just toss that? <laughs> just just right, why? Right just like, the, yeah. Near the, near, the, near the recording microphone. It's like, get it out of here. It's a box. This is cognac. <laughs> Don't call an ambulance. <laughs> this guy's crazy. This guy is crazy. <laughs> oh, remember uh, toast. <laughs> this is from cognac, France. Because it has to be. Treaty of Versailles. Called, yep. To be called cognac. Uh, this is a VSOP. VSOP. Yes. So the big thing, so the aged brandies, the the grape base, this is made from grapes. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me go through cognac first, actually. Cognac has cognac. to be made from grapes. 
there are basically four, three or four grape varietals that this has to be made from. The predominant one is Uni Blanc. Not a popular Single grape white or for white? wine. What are we talking about? It's, it's <laughs> ugly white. <laughs> ugly white. Uh, yes, the, the unfamiliar <laughs> card game, Uni. U G N I. U G N I. Uni. Blanc. Uh, it's in Italy. The same grape is called Trebbiano. Oh, which, which you okay. can you can find yep, Italian wines yep. made from Trebbiano. Yeah. Uh, so there, that's the major grape for most cognacs. They also use Columbard. I wrote it down somewhere. If you could read your handwriting, <laughs> Folle Blanche. Another one. Those are the three big ones, and you have to use eighty percent of cognac has to come from those three grapes. Really? 20% has to be some other ones. Mm -hmm. They allow a little bit of leniency, but mostly it's those. Three. And 0% German. <laughs> yeah. This is this For a sure. Rule. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's pot stilled being cognac. Ooh. Double pot stilled. Kind of like scotch. Fan. Yeah. Fan. Yeah. Uh, and then aged. So this is a VSOP for cognac. There's VS, which is two years in barrels. VSOP, minimum four years. Cognac specifically has a category called Napoleon brandy. Oh, yeah. I have some. No, I have some. <laughs> so that's six years Ooh. minimum. And then XO. I thought it'd be a little shorter than that. Which is exiled. <laughs> exo. <laughs> exo. No, get this. Extra, Elba. Exo, it means extra old. <laughs> extra old. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Exo. That's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Until recently, this was actually younger. They, they changed the laws in France. So now XO means it has to be 10 years or, or more. Amen, brother. XO. XO. And then yeah. XO. <laughs> And then uh, they also do an XXO, Ooh. which means it has to be 14. Which means you need parental requests. <laughs> <laughs> parental advisory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Vin full. Diesel starring in that. <laughs> Triple X, baby. <laughs> yeah, no, there's XXO, which is 14 years. And then there's XXX, which is a terrible movie. <laughs> Hey, speak for yourself, okay, brother? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, uh, just giving a hot take here. Yeah. The nose has a little funk. Like uh mm -hmm. It's good, but it, you know, it's it it's kind of riding that line of like where what is that thing that's smelling a little funky? You know, a little sweat, a little uh Well, no, to me, yeah, it, it I, almost gives off more of a scotch vibe. Yeah. No, for sure. There's just yeah. a tad of that. Lots which was a barley maybe or which, something which uh, uh, there's how many times have i said that with some type of whiskey or whatever like wyoming whiskey i that's like i call farmyard yeah I there's mean, a, a tad of farmyard and i don't mean that in a bad way i mean that in a good way <laughs> yeah i'm thinking of the worst possible possible ways of describing this and it's not necessarily taking it away it's just now it's called butt funk butt funk it's got a little bit about a little bit of that butt funk to it yeah, let me taste this now. <laughs> it's a positive note, though. Just oh, ignore the word. Oh, it's just for you, for sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh wait, wait, Mr. Butt Funk over here. Uh, no, I'd say taint. <laughs> Jeez, Lord have mercy. Hey, man, it's the alcohol. It's not me. So we're, we're actually above drinking, above. We're drinking some con cognac. We're drinking some cognac. You almost, you almost got us banned from what YouTube right there. Here? What's going on here? Uh, I want to taste this bad boy. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh 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 oh. Interesting. Raisins and white pepper. Yeah. So oh, deep raisins. Is definitely mm. some deep raisin. Mm. This is also limousine oak, by the way. Mm. And so, you said double distilled? Vsop. Yes. What's the price range of this bad boy? 40 bucks. 
All right, I'm confused. <laughs> it seems like it, like we're we're going up in price, but it really isn't, which is strange. I I'm a little I chose this order specifically by profile, yeah, not by price. And I, which was a good call because like this VSOP is like, oh, we're just going up in price. This is going to be seventy dollars. It's not. This is not. This is a much deeper flavor profile than anything we've had so far. Obviously, it's, it's aged more. Uh, remind me what the VSOP is. Uh, minimum four years. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> so the Osbach was three years. Yep. It's kind of interesting because... But it's only four. That's yeah. really not... Like, you think about whiskey, yeah. you think about... Like, most bourbons are three to four years. This is bottled and bond is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, what, I'm, what I'm having a hard time with is... What do I? What would I introduce somebody with with the brandy? Because we've been getting much easier drinkers, and this is probably the easiest. It, it has the most normal profile you'd think of when it comes to bourbon. And if so, you, if you're a whiskey drinker, I was going to say if you're a whiskey drinker, yes, hardly even a step. It's basically whiskey with like slightly a fruitier yeah. note to it. Yeah, you know, uh, something that it reminds me of is the. Uh, Bottle and Bond from, oh, there's a Seattle brewery. Oh, what are they called? Two Bar. Two Bar. They have a Bottle and Bond. That's, Blackberry. That's super berry forward. Yeah. This is the closest I've ever tasted to that. That's fair. It reminds me to that. And but, I but love this that. Seems more, this seems more uh, deep. Yeah. It, it, and it's that refined. Deep sweetness. It's like you're caramelizing. Grapes with a fucking creme honestly a little creme brulee with like yeah sh- that exactly. two bar was kind of like a mix between this and like one of the clearer yeah, exactly. like younger brandies yeah <clears throat> I really like this and I think this is fantastic forty bucks is a steal right oh for sure I mean this this is this keeps on giving and I will say this is probably this is obviously I think the best thing that we've had tonight but. Just to rewind it a little bit, I think the Calvados takes it for me in terms of give, sh- introducing someone to brandy. It's so fun. Because this, this tastes more like brandy to me. I mean, obviously, I am completely unfamiliar, and I'm going off of what we tried so far, which is bare, no aged, slightly aged, and then a little bit more aged. So I'm picking the middle road on this one of the takeaway from today's episode for me is I'm going to go buy this Calvados. 110 percent i'm buying that bottle so you're an apple lover i mean that's the other thing that's changing i mean it's just for sure that's a good point too yeah it is not just age it is and what is the base this this vsop is bringing out the grape super heavy and it's raisin 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 all it's the it's some of the deepest flavor profile that you could probably get without going into caramel Mm -hmm. and it brings it yeah and there's a little or toffee there's a little, there's raisin, 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 and maybe a touch of toffee on there. And and cognac is is kind of the big daddy brandy. Like that's that's Good what's point. known. That's what's in all the rap songs. But but, yeah. let, like, but tell them now the the cousin that people don't know about that's as good. So or, unfortunately, I don't really have one here now. But there is the cousin of cognac, which is a neighboring region in France called Armagnac. And Armagnac has a couple key differences. Cognac is pot stilled, like scotch. Armagnac is column stilled. So you can get really high quality Armagnac for way cheaper. Okay. Like you can get really, really good Armagnac for like 20 to 60 bucks. And you can get vintage Armagnac for. 80 to a hundred dollars. Whereas cognac gets up in price really yeah. fast. So remind me and I, for, sorry, I'm playing footsie. You're playing you. footsie with me. <laughs> I thought, I thought and I liked table. it at first. And then <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought don't it was anymore. a table. <laughs> um, so the cognac, is it only grape? Yes. Yes. Okay. Specifically. And same with Armagnac. Armagnac is also only made from grapes. Though the, Varietals of grapes are a wider variety in Armagnac. They can use more grapes than cognac. 
Okay. Cognac strict. I gotcha. Interesting. What I would I like, like to the have... loser cousin. <laughs> yeah, they're the like the wild one. Yeah. I would like to have I would like to move away from the grape. I don't dislike the grape, but I would like to have something that's aged with a different fruit for quite some time. And that's where you're gonna want Calvados probably. Yeah. Because you can get some higher aged Calvados, which is fun. Well, I gotta say, you've given us a pretty good lineup. This yeah, was that's an interesting a, a, ride. An awesome. Not exactly awesome around the world, but it's no, <laughs> no, but it's I mean, a, come it's on, we have different, different fruits going on yeah, here. Yeah. No, the, this, different ages, different the, stills. And then we also went from three years to four. Four plus, maybe. And that was a huge jump. Yeah. I mean, the the Osbach introduced us into this cognac for sure. Um it might, be, it might be my German genes, but that Osbach is, I'm going to say head to head with this cognac. For me. For me. Freaking German over here. <laughs> I will say the, this. That this, Treaty of Versailles sucked. I'll just <laughs> tell you that right now. <laughs> this V-Sop, I think, uh, for me, is better than the Osbach, but like I said, the Calvados. And I like, no, the Calvados. The Calvados nose was the best I had tonight. The so, nose. To, uh, in my opinion, of the lineup, I think the Calvados is my favorite. It is it has the perfect balance of like kind of raw flavor with refined. Yeah. I mean, it's like this is clearly aged and f- like more whiskey, but the Calvados, ooh, that's it's good. Yeah. It's, Although I like that cursed that cherry, man, because that's that, unusual. That's the thing. Welcome to Brandy, exactly. boys. <laughs> We've and, done like, it. This is this is one hundred percent tip of the iceberg. There's so much more. Yeah. Obviously, like every country. Think about how many fruits there are, and then all these countries that grow all these different fruits, they can make a distillate from all yeah. these fruit. It's awesome. I need a dragon fruit brandy. There you go. Probably exists. All right. Well, Ryan, I think any last words for people who are watching this episode? Give legitimate brandy a shot. A shot. It is fun. It is different. And honestly, pretty easy drinking for the most part. Like, I've been whis- enjoying whiskey myself. Can be no, hard this to get is into. good. I've talked to people that watch our show consistently, and they've tried to get into some of those whiskeys, and it's a little too much for them. Some of these brandies, probably a little easier, yeah. honestly. It's more, one, affordable, and two, yeah. approachable. So, Especially when you start adding in the barrel. I think when, you, when you're aging it a little bit, it really makes it approachable. Because when you're, when you're looking at these really clear stuff, just from what we've had, and this is me speaking completely ignorantly, just in a vacuum right now, the stuff that's clear is fun if you're like willing to have fun. I, yeah. In my opinion, like, yeah. like if, if you're already in alcohol or, or whatever and you have a palate just to kind if of like. If you can drink straight, clear liquor. Yeah. <laughs> it, that's one thing. It's fun, and, but it does bring a medicinal note to it. Yeah. I think, and that, that'll turn a lot of people off. I would say if you were like, want to play it safe, I would skip. I would definitely go for something that's a little bit aged. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Like none of these are supremely aged. And, and relatively They're, expensive. Yeah, they're oh, all, sorry, they're all cheap. Cheap. inexpensive. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, inexpensive. Yeah, some of these can get very expensive, but you don't have to yeah. do that. I know we we have a, a bottle of cognac that's like a blend of 25 to 30 year cognac. Well, let's and pull that out, boys. And it is fantastic, <laughs> yeah. but it's also a little more kind of whiskey like. Yeah. Whereas like that Calvados. Yeah. It just right. barely. Eight. Cool. Well. Bing, bang, boom. There you have I, it. That was the fun. Brandy episode, the Brandy boys. episode. Finally, the first one. We might do one. more. We might as well do more because this was fantastic. But guess what? You need to hit that like button. You need to go ahead and make sure you like this episode because, I mean, look at this. Look at this lineup. Ryan did a bunch of research. He, we, we have all One whole card one worth. One whole card worth. I put most of it in my head. Exactly. <laughs> and you need to subscribe because... We ain't stopping. This train is just going full steam ahead. We putting out episodes every week, every Thursday. What's going on? Why are you behind? You need to catch up on every episode so you have the context of why why are we drinking brandy? It's because we drink all the whiskeys. That's why. Okay. 
We, we yeah. need to move on. Find me another one. Exactly. <laughs> G- give us another one. Uh, we dare you. Okay. How do you like them apples? <laughs> yeah. And if you want to dare us, go ahead and comment. Let us know what whiskey, what scotch. It doesn't matter what it is. Let us know what you want us to, to try because we're open to it all. We're, we're ready to go. We're, we're primed and ready. All right. And Bam. outside of that, you have a good day. <laughs> Woo! Uh, 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 uh.